بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو میڈیکل گلوگ ای لرننگ دس از مستا علیم فرام شاہدہ اسلام میڈیکل کالج سو نا ٹوڈے سو ٹاپک از بائی انرجیٹکس اینڈ آکسیڈیٹو فاسفورلیشن فرسٹ آف آل سیڈ اسٹورز ہیئر آر ٹو ایم سی کیو اینڈ ہاف ایس سی کیو فرام دس سیکشن نا اسٹارٹنگ اف چیپٹر فرسٹ آف آل یو ہیو ٹو نو اباؤٹ فری انرجی اٹس ڈیفینیشن ڈیفینیشن اف انتھیلپی اینڈ انٹروپی دس ون اینڈ دس فگر از امپورٹنٹ ٹو سی دا چینج ان فری انرجی انتھیلپی اینڈ انٹروپی it is important and its equation is also important now next one is the free energy change you have to know the difference between delta g and delta g note this figure is important to see the delta g when delta g is negative and when delta g is positive and its effect on reaction this one is important from cq delta g of forward and backward direction and uh, delta g in concentration of reactants and product it is important from cq point of view and this equation is also important standard free energy you have to know its definition for mcq and seq point of view and also its equation delta g not and direction of reaction and relation between delta g not and k equilibrium both are important for mcq point of view relation between k equilibrium and the delta g not and direction of reaction this one is important for mcq point of view next one is the delta g as of a pathway just have to read it for conceptual purpose atp as an energy carrier you have to know about atp it is important for cq point of view and common intermediate and uh, atp is the common intermediate it is the acceptor and the donator of phosphate energy carried by atp it is important from mcq point of view and how much energy is released this one both it is important for mcq point of view electron transport chain it is important for uq point of view uh, you have to read all these and uh, this one is important for mcq point of view you have to know where the electron transport chain present this one and uh, membranes of mitochondria outer and inner you have to know about it this figure 6.6 is important to see the metabolism and oxidative phosphorylation matrix of mitochondria you have to know that the matrix of mitochondria is involved in many reactions that be oxidation tca etc and it is important for mcq point of view now next one is the organization of electron transport chain it is important from mcq point of view that uh, they are five complexes in atc reaction of electron transport chain it is important from mcq and seq point of view formation of nadh you have to read it for electron transport chain it is very important figure 6.8 is important to see the electron transport chain and the electron donation proton pumping all this one coenzyme q you have to know about coenzyme q it is very important for seq point of view and from which structure coenzyme q receive electrons and this one coenzyme q next is the cytochrome it is also important for mcq point of view cytochrome c cytochrome a and a3 where they are present all is important for mcq point of view and this one that four electrons are required to reduce one molecule of oxygen to two molecule of water it is important for mcq site specific inhibitors is very important for seq and for mcq in prof and uh, this figure is important to see the some drugs and their effect on inhibition on electron transport chain then you have to know about redox where release of free energy all it is important for mcq and conceptual point of view standard reduction potential that is more negative and more positive and electron flow from more negative to more positive it is important for mcq point of view delta g dot of atp 
this one is important for MCQ. Chemiosmotic theory is important for SEQ and for viva point of view. And how the ATP is formed by proton pumping. All this one is important. ATP synthase and the transporter all are impo very important for CQ point of view. This figure is important to see the redox potential. This figure is important to see the uh, ATP synthase and how it is bounded with ETC coupling and this important one is oligomycin it is very important for uh, viber point of view for mcq for scq it is the uh, inhibitor uncoupling protein you have to know the basic mechanism of uncoupling proteins Synthetic uncoupler, this one to for dinitrophenol it is very important for viva point of view and for MCQ. Membrane transporter system, you have to know about the ATP and ADP transporter and uh, glycerophosphate, uh, glycerophosphate shuttle and maladespartate shuttle. Why they are produced 3 and 2 ATPs. This one is important for SCQ and for MCQ point of view. Now you have to drop this topic. Mitochondria and apoptosis, it is important for MCQ point of view. Again, this figure is very important to see the shuttles. Melitospartate shuttle and glycerol phosphate shuttle. Our chapter is end. Hope so you can understand. For better preparation of prof, you can avail services from Medical Globe Book and BPS Cracks. Thank you. La Hafiz. Medical Globe brings you the solution to your problems, the problems you face during your professional exams. Yes, we are introducing MBBS Cracks. This book contains chapter-wise important topics along with solved past university questions and important VIVA questions are also given to ASU VIVA. Besides this, chapter pools are also given histology diagrams along with OSP model pictures in high resolution are mentioned in this book. Besides this series for SCQs, we have also introduced our series for MCQs that is MCQs Cracks. This book contains MCQs not only from UHS but also from several other universities. So what are you waiting for? Go get this book ordered at your doorstep by ordering at our given number that is 0335 Thank you.